Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, um, well, anyway, my name is Scotty P. I'm with Cactus Beach Internet Radio. And uh, I live in uh, Minnesota. And uh, some of you may be joining me. So this is going to be recorded for you know, purposes otherwise. Um, the fact is, is that this particular stream is to hide is to reveal not relive relive right? so I, I can't see it it's so small it's supposed to reveal how many how companies hate disabled workers disabled employees i spelled i spelled everything wrong on that thing in in, in uh in uh my, tw my twitter page um but it's basically the way that how um, we're just you know, let's see what these tweets are. Oh my god! All right, never mind. No one's no one's replying to my claim. At any rate, so this is gonna be this is a recorded for later. So I'll go into it. And please excuse me, I have a cold. So, what's this thing do? Well, that's just stuff. Uh, okay, so that's just... All right. So, um, basically, um, how people are treated here in Minnesota. Um, the same way people are treated all over the country. Employ employers hate absolutely. Employers do not like employing disabled workers. Um, they will they will turn around and they will backdoor them, basically. And what I mean by backdoor is the, the when they backdoor somebody. They backdoor them by putting them in the in, in like a, in a basement, washing dishes, in a stock room away from everybody else, and so they don't. And since they have a job coach with them, most likely they most certain most likely they have a job coach with them with them, and um, when they do, the the uh the employer just despises that because the is if the job coach doesn't know what the fuck he's doing then neither does the uh the handyman tool or the company bitch sometimes you'll see people with normal activities walking around those are the those are the high-end people those are the people that don't know that aren't that are mentally you know crazy or whatever i don't know but uh in the same notion um uh, i believe here in duluth uh here in minnesota you heard me here i'll say in duluth and in the state of minnesota i believe there is some kind of do not hire list. As you heard me, I heard do not hire list. This floated around. To that is kind of like. So, what people, what these people will do, what these deployers will do, is that. They'll be like, okay, we'll be in touch. And what they do is that they go back and look on their look in their email, look in look in books, so so list somewhere of where or what or who or what and where what houses where the houses are. You know, because when we apply for jobs, we put in our name, address, and phone number. 
Simple as that. Okay? So when we put in our name, address, and phone number, you know, when we put in our name, address, and phone number, they go back and they try and they relieve. They re they go back and they go look and say, oh, oh, he lives there. And he belongs to, or he or she, in some cases, can go, oh, oh he belongs to Company X. And he's has they have like I, I would imagine they have some kind of rating system that is beyond our comprehension. And when somebody comes in and no and and, and it comes in with a job coach, they turn around and they're like, Oh, you have a job coach. You're in the back room away from the public. No one can Now, there again, uh, some of these people do have, I, 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 I will give it to them. Some of these, some of these people are very high functioning and they can make it on their own and they can get a job and they can fake it because they know how to trick. They know how to pursue a job and they know how to maintain a job. By faking it, and when they get home, they go self. When they get home, they self medicate, or they do this, or they do that, and uh, it's basically a basically a, a shit show. You heard me right. It's basically a shit show. They go home, they uh, they crack. And they watch, they smoke cigarettes like the way they're going on the style. They self medicate. Um, you know, they just, they just play the, they play, they play it as it goes. They play it as it goes, and um, it's just a matter of time that before they crack at work, and they, can they, then the boss will find some reason to eighty six them. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying is that uh, basically uh, the mentally ill, mental illness in, in Duluth, here in Duluth and, and, and in Minnesota, is so bad. It's so badly discriminated against. That we are, that if we were to get, if, if I was, the reason why I don't get a job is because I'm going to school. And the reason why I can't get a school, get, get a summer a summer job is because I'm too high functioning. And when they find out that I have a mental illness, that even blows it up, blows it all the shit all they got. It. You know what I mean? So the fact is, is that the discrimination, the 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 uh, the actions of which are oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, Does anybody really care? I mean, is there any besides Nami and the and the ombudsman? Does anybody really give a fuck about who, what, when, where, and why about mentally ill? No, no one does. They just want us to sit on their ass in our room, like I am. But they don't have. But some of them, some of them don't have the ability to use a computer. Don't have the don't have a chance to use a computer like me. So the fact if the fact is is that when they sorry, I'm just loading it my iPad. Um yeah. So basically when somebody or some somebody goes in for a job Somebody goes in for a job. 
Okay. And they have a job coach there with them. And the job coach is there all of them all the time. All twenty four all eight all four hours. That's what they're there. That's what they're paid for. That's what they're paid to do. Sit there and babysit a return. Now I'm not calling myself a return. I'm not calling anybody else a return. But that is what the what what the outside world thinks of us. They think of us as a nuisance, a retard, you know. So and now nobody's watching me, which is amazing. Because they're they're afraid of the truth. You people are afraid of the fucking truth, is what it is. You people are afraid of the fucking truth. And the fact is, is that you have one mentally unstable guy running this country. And it's not my fault, because I didn't vote. So I can't complain. I can point fingers. I can point fingers. As much as you hate to hear that. I can point fingers. And fuck it. I'm gonna blow my nose right out. Yeah. Is there one? Yeah, there's a way to be like, I don't, want you, I don't want you to get all grossed out. I'll be right back. All right. Still as stuffy as ever. No. Nope. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Stuffed up the mouth breather. <sighs> anyway, uh, so the fact, the point of this this little conversation that I'm having with myself, because nobody is watching. Well, they may be watching, but they don't have it tuned in. Um. It's, what I want you to do this is this is pretty much for this, this stream is pretty much for the for the, the it's, uh, it's kind of like it's trying to um, <coughs> oh, excuse me I should have covered my mouth I'm so sorry um, but the, the fact is is that this is this is the truth and this is unfortunately this is the way we live now. Because people don't want to uh, don't want to admit the fact that mental illness causes there's a stigma in mental illness, and uh, I'm be told that's what it is. And people, the good businesses that. Uh, Businesses that hire mentally ill people, like I said, back door. You know, they'll let them come in the front door when they're hired, but they want them to they'll put them at the back door, the closest to the closer to the back door, or the farthest from the, from the company uh, or uh, or customers as they can. I mean, I know you are. I know that you're probably thinking bullshit. No, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like I went down to the store a couple days ago. No, about a month ago. Before, I, actually, before I started when I started stop when I started school, I stopped looking for a job. Um, but the, here's another thing, and the fact is that I've put out 
resumes to several companies, I believe, because of my actions done to us, because of my personal, because of me personally, my personal opinions on Facebook. I'm not afraid of it. I am not afraid of it at all. If you don't like it, I don't care. I don't want to work for you. If you don't like my opinions, I don't want to work for you. I don't want to be a snobby little reporter that lives down the street that gets banged every by, by a by a report by a um, by a, by a, 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 another intern or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know that I can vouch. That I can't vouch for that, but I have a feeling that's what it was because the girl. The, the little tweeny bopper, or the little college age queen teeny bopper. I don't know. She may be 20. I don't know. Who cares? But she, uh, she, I helped her move into her house. Then I left. Gave her my phone number. She did. No, needless to say, she deleted that number away out of her phone very, very quickly. Because her dad told her to put the phone, put, her, put the number in her phone to call me. If she needed help, well, of course she's not gonna call some dipshit like me. No, she's gonna call this little hooky dory little dude that almost, that runs around in a car that has the has another TV station's name on it and come up and bang her, you know. I mean, that's he almost. I was walking. I I saw. I didn't even see him. He almost hit me. Excuse me. So I called up the station. I said, "Hello, just curious, who's got your uh, one of your uh, WD, oh, one, one of your uh, radio TV station four by fours out running around right now?" Blase, 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 blase. Okay, well, I just want to let you know he almost hit me. Were you in a car? No, I was walking. He was having it, and he was. Spending time with a with a uh, rival company reporter up in uh, who knows where, or he was coming out of a uh, he was coming. I help. I know who he was visiting because this particular reporter used to work for this state that TV station that he had that he was driving the truck around in. So he drove the truck up to her up to her apartment over over there or over there. Had a quickie, got his rocks off, and then left. But God, me knows she's not the most prettiest girl in the block. She, when she puts on her glasses, she looks so fucking dirty. She works for a shit ass station anyway. I'd rather work for their NBC station rather than the CBS station. I mean, I don't even watch. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I don't even watch. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I don't even watch. Uh, watch TV anymore. That thing right back there? Oh, music channels. All I watch on there is music channels. That I believe what I said. Trump promises to derail gravy train and lower uh, drug prices in American patients' first plan. I believe that when I see it, he hasn't done shit. He's just a puppet. Someone's got his hand, their hand up his back, and just he's just a fucking. He's a. He ain't all there, but you know what? I can't. I can complain. Oh yeah. I can complain all I want. Yours truly did not vote. Yours truly left it up to you guys to decide between a man and a woman. You voted for a man who has is egocentric, is egotistical, and and the uh, demisable. I don't know what it is. He's basically crazy. Hang on. I gotta see if we can do this again. I know this is real.
I think it'd be better if I close my windows. I think it will be. Alright, I gotta close my windows. But anyway. Yeah, I didn't vote for Trump. I didn't vote, I didn't vote for Hillary. I just said, fuck it, you know? America's going to fuck up. The, my vote's not going to matter. My vote's not going to matter. Why, why the hell should I care? We're, going, we're almost in the World War III. He's getting these damn near... I'm, I'm sure the atomic clock has been moved to midnight by now. He's pulling us into World War III. And it's not my fault. Nope. It's not my fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. You, 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 and you in the back. It, it's all your fault. Because you voted for a blonde haired, blue eyed, male, Anglo Saxon. Uh, because you were afraid that Hillary might put up purple pink curtains in the White House. Because it, it, it just it just unmans me, unda un un un, 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 un just below me. I like talking right now because nobody's talking. Nobody's listening to me, but they will read the they will, they will watch this. After I reset the reset the what it's supposed to say. If I can get my mic straight. There we go. So. That being said. Uh, then, yeah. I posted my link on Facebook. I posted my link on Twitter. I posted my link on all, on all sorts of things. Nobody watched me. Because you want to know why? Because the fact... Here's the, I'll tell you why. Nobody watched me. is because I said... I, I, I misspelled it, but they, I'm sure they got the gist of it. Revealing the unknown truth about how and why and what people do. Um, that what, how people... How people... How and, how and why people are treated discriminately. The fact is, is that it's true. It's absolutely true. <laughs> frustrated, quote unquote, frustrated. Canadian Canadian minister asked to take off turban at don't do that. Detroit airport. Apparently, it's part of his uh, part of his religion that he wears a turban. That's gonna get a retweet. That's gonna get a retweet. I just want that just went fly. Uh, that's gonna go crazy. What else can we see here? Anyway, so as you can tell, my voice is a little deeper. I'm blowing my nose like crazy. I do have a cold. I should be in bed. So. Truth and then you let the truth. So. You can go fuck yourselves. Because you know what? You put yourself in this. In, in this freaking position. And uh.
You can do this in your own. You put. You've put everybody in this own, in your own position to get fucked by by this this guy. I don't even want to call him a president. Um. So, at this point, you guys might as well start hunkering down, and getting ready, get everybody in the. What else? Oh, here in Duluth, where the largest wall, the largest lar here in Duluth, Minnesota, where I live. You know, we're we're, we're on that hot spot list for uh, for uh, the largest source of clean. I don't even call it clean, but we'll drink refined drinking water. We're like number five on the list. I mean, you can go do a Google for the top top ten top. Places to, that 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 should be that will be attacked if we, if we go to World War Three. If we go to World War Three, we're up there. Social command that's down in Tampa. I think they moved out of California, but social command was in was in, uh, and then Houston, the the potent Houston, Texas. That's where that's where NASA is. That's, that's another that's, that's another another one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Washington D.C. That's the number one spot. I mean, come on, Who's, you, you, you gotta be living under a rock if you don't know that. So, So anyway, you can know this junk mail from Google. I suppose I haven't got anything from Twitter yet. You know, I've almost been on the, on the air for a half hour. It's amazing. But at any rate. I don't wind down. I gotta figure out a way to go to sleep. Get my nose all cleared up and go to sleep. This has been the American Tabloid. Your world. Internet radio. Yeah, you know, and the founder of Left Brain Productions. Just no idea.